Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the topic multiple antenna techniques. Need for multiple antenna techniques. Performance of wireless mobile communication can be improved by using multiple antenna techniques. For different applications, different types of multiple antenna techniques are used. Wireless mobile communication is affected by propagation path loss, long term fading, short term fading. Operate at two or more frequency bands of relatively narrow frequency bands. Multiple beam antennas which generate simultaneous multiple beams. Also, types of antennas may be omnidirectional antennas or directional antennas. Delay spread in mobile environment is more for omnidirectional antennas than directional antennas. MIMO systems represent multiple input, multiple output systems. MIMO systems are modern wireless systems with multiple antenna elements at both ends of the link. MIMO systems can be used for beam forming and diversity combining or spatial multiplexing. Beam forming or directional antennas are used for interference reduction. Spatial multiplexing is the transmission of multiple data streams on multiple antenna in parallel. Beam forming increases the capacity of the system. It effectively exploits multipath. Spectral efficiency is as high as 20 to 40 bits per second per hertz. Example, MIMO OFDM are the key techniques for next generation wireless LAN and 4G mobile communications. MIMO OFDM is used in IEEE 802.11N, IEEE 802.16M and LTE where OFTM represents orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. LTE represents long term evolution. A MIMO system comprises of antenna elements and adaptive signal processing procedures at the transmitter and receiver. At the transmitter end, coding, modulation, mapping procedures takes place before the signal is transmitted, whereas at the receiver end, the reverse procedure takes place. At the receiver, demapping, demodulation, and decoding are done to re recover the signal. Advantages of MIMO systems. The MIMO systems has many benefits. They are reduced error rates, higher capacity, better transmission quality, with acceptable BER, high coverage capacity, increased data rates, better use of position estimations. These advantages are possible due to the spatial multiplexing gain, array gain, diversity gain, and reduction in interference. The capacity of MIMO systems is proportional to minimum number of transmitter and receiver antennas in the system. Limitations of wireless channels. In wireless transmission, the signal may suffer due to the factors such as fading. That is, a random amplitude signal at the receiver end is observed due to multiple paths which arrives with various delays causing an ISI. ISA that is intersymbol interference. It is due to the multiple paths which arrives with various delays causing an ISI. CCA that is co channel interference. It is caused by co channels. Noise the system suffers from thermal noise and it may reduce SNR value. Feature of MIMO system. In this system, there are many transmitter antennas, MSFXT, 
and many receiver antennas m suffix r are available where the number of transmit and receive antennas may vary as single or many but in multiple input to multiple output systems it is very useful in wireless communications the use of multiple antennas at both the transmit and the receive ends applies space time coding or allomotic coding scheme in its transmission and the transmission efficiency is higher the coding is independent of channel state information at the transmitter gain values in mimo systems are diversity gain multiplexing gain array gain to increase the robustness of the mimo system diversity gain is used it is the negative slope of the ber curve which in respect to snr value at high snrs and diversity gain is equal to small d suffix capital g is equal to limit snr tends to limit infinity open bracket in the numerator log open bracket p suffix e open bracket snr close bracket close bracket divided by log of snr close bracket multiplexing gain in mimo systems multiplexing gain the multiplexing gain is the slope of the capacity or the rate in respect to snr values at high snrs then multiplexing gain is equal to capital m suffix g is equal to limit snr tends to infinity open bracket c of snr divided by log of snr close the bracket if m suffix t is transmit antennas and m suffix r is receive antennas of the mimo system then maximum multiplexing gain of mimo system is m suffix g is equal to minimum of m suffix t comma m suffix r array gain in mimo systems array gain is also known as coding gain array gain is the power gain that is obtained by applying a mimo system in comparison to siso system but using the same transmitted power array gain capital a suffix g is equal to open bracket capital e open bracket snr suffix mimo close the bracket divided by capital g open bracket snr siso close the bracket here SIS4 represents a single input, single output. MIMO represents multi input, multiple output. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture, means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates, kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.